Billy Polakowski is retired and 72 years old, so she spends her days doing what she loves most, like tap dancing and calligraphy. Billy is also an avid cyclist. Her daily physical routine matches that of someone half her age. Busy days, very busy days. I have two yoga classes, a dance class, a movement to music class, a voice class, and uh, working on a special dance class for a presentation. Remarkably, Billy does all of this with Parkinson's, a disease that affects nerve cells in the brain and impacts a person's speech, walk, muscle control, and often causes tremors. There are some medications to help control it, but there is no cure. I did sit for about a year, and I couldn't get out of the chair after doing that. So I, I just find something to do at all times. But now she is determined to live every day to the fullest. With that in mind, she found a class at the Health Center for Parkinson's Patients on the CSU campus. So the Parkinson's disease manifests itself in each person very differently. So the challenges are each person comes with, to the class with different challenges, although there are some common themes. Falling is one of them, um, the stiffness and rigidity, so there's a lot of muscle tension um, and lack of motion, lack of range of motion. So many of the exercises or patterns that we work on and introduce are, are very much based on um, those everyday movements. Um, we have been focusing on falling quite a bit lately just because uh, people want that. When you're ready to come back this way, start left. First class I did was, was music, um, movement with, uh, with Lisa. And I, we did a thing when we got down on the floor and, and it took three people to get me up. I couldn't get off the floor. And it, I had, it was a lot of work to just get out of the chair. So I've progressed quite a bit. So I, Billy is an inspiration to her friends and everyone who meets her. She will not let Parkinson's stop her. You can live 20 or 30 years with Parkinson's. It's like throwing away half your life because somebody told you there's no hope. Well, there's no hope for any of us anyway. We're all going to die anyway, so there's no hope at all. We have one time through this life, and we have, we have good times, and we have bad times, sad times, happy times. But there's only one time through and it's over. What is the point of walling around in misery? You might as well keep hope in your heart. <laughs>